these super chunky, extra ornate 1970s style pieces of furniture can seem a little bit hopeless when it comes to modern furniture makeovers, but I'm gonna show you guys how I gave this guy a little bit of a tweak to make it perfect for today's bohemian inspired designs with maybe even a little bit of a Moroccan style twist. Perfect for 2021. Hello, my name is Katie. I am the owner and artist behind Salvaged by K. Scott. I am a full-time furniture painter running my own little furniture empire right here out of my home. If you're interested in tons of furniture flipping tips, tricks, and modern inspiration, please make sure that you tap that subscribe button and hit the bell so that you're notified every week when I upload a new video. This week I'm gonna be flipping a super dated dresser that I picked up from Facebook Marketplace for $40. This guy is in really good shape. It doesn't need much repair work, so I think just a fresh coat of paint will bring it right back on trend. As soon as I saw this hardware, I had visions of this dresser in a really modern bohemian or Moroccan inspired bedroom like one of these. Anyways, this flip is gonna start the same way that all of my flips do with a really thorough cleaning. I pulled out all of the drawers, vacuumed up the dust bunnies, removed the hardware, and then I went ahead and gave everything a really good scrub down with some TSP alternative. This is a good degreaser that is going to clean up any dirt or grime, but especially any old furniture polish residue that's built up over the years. There were just a couple of scratches and dings that needed a little bit of wood filler, I always leave a full list of the products that I use on each project down in the description box, just in case you need to reference that. Once that was dry, I sanded those spots smooth with some 220 grit sandpaper, and then I gave the rest of this slick laminate dresser a really good scuff up as well. And then I used one of my foam sanding pads to help me get down into all these ornate details on the drawer fronts. I know this dresser looks like it's got a lot of really intricate carpentry involved, but all of these details on the drawer fronts are actually just molded plastic made to look like wood. I used a microfiber cloth to remove any of the sanding dust that I had created. I'm gonna be skipping primer on this piece because I'm painting with a really dark color and not working with real wood, so I'm not worried about bleed through. But I am going to spray a quick spritz of shellac over the wood filler areas so that my paint lies evenly across that surface. I think this is a good time for me to tell you about the sponsor of this video, Audible. Audible is the leading provider of spoken word entertainment all in one place. They have the largest selection of audiobooks, including thousands of bestsellers, new releases, celebrity memoirs, business, and motivation titles. I've been listening to a few audiobooks while I'm out here working in the garage lately. Right now I'm listening to the Bridgerton series and I'm completely obsessed. I've got the Audible app installed on my phone so I can easily download new titles and listen while I'm working on other stuff or while I'm driving around the neighborhood looking for new curbside treasures. Every month, Audible members get one free audiobook and full access to the Plus catalog, which has a huge offering of podcasts, Audible originals, guided fitness and meditation programs, sleep tracks, and so much more. And new Audible members get a 30-day free trial. So go visit audible.com slash Katie Scott or text Katie Scott to 500-500 to try Audible today. All right, let's get back to work. I'm going to be using house and canvas furniture paint in the color shadow. This chalk style paint is pretty thick. So once I added some paint to my sprayer hopper, I poured a little water into. You should thin your paint with water in a separate container before you add it to your gun, but I like to live on the edge and just shake it together while it's in there.
After I sprayed my first coat, I noticed that I had some dripping and sagging on one side. I haven't done this for a while, but it happens. It could be too much water, too much air pressure. I was spraying too close to the dresser, a little bit of all of the above. <laughs> as tempting as it is to start fussing with this mess, I like to let these drips dry all the way. I came back a few hours later when everything was good and dry and used some 320 grit sandpaper to gently sand down those drips and marks and smooth out that side of the dresser. A few more light coats of paint and no one will ever know, except for all of you, of course. Once I was happy with my paint, I got myself ready to seal it up. I'm using House and Canvas's new matte finish varnish. Whenever I'm top coating darker colors like this, I like to add a dollop of paint into the top coat to tint it a little bit. This helps the top coat from getting the hazy or streaky look that is super common when using liquid sealers over dark colors. I applied two coats of this varnish waiting two hours in between and it laid down really nicely so I didn't sand in between coats. I washed off all of the hardware with some hot water and vinegar just to get rid of any grime that was on the surface. And once that was dry, I sprayed all of the hardware with a combination of two Rust-Oleum metallic paints, one in a coppery color and another one in sort of an antique brass. Just a super light misting of both colors until I was happy with the finish I got. Here's a reminder of the Moroccan or Bohemian bedroom vibe that inspired this dresser. Let me know if you think I made it work down in the comment section. And for those of you who are always curious about the numbers, I bought this dresser off of Facebook Marketplace for $40. I spent about $45 in materials and sold it again to one of my local Instagram followers for $400. That's a profit of $315 on this one. Another huge thank you to Audible for sponsoring today's video. Don't forget to go sign up for your 30 day free trial by visiting audible.com slash Katie Scott or texting Katie Scott to 500 500. Go find something awesome to listen to while you work and I will catch you guys next time.